In this video, we will illustrate how to apply a simple quantitative approach, also known as factor rating analysis, to aid in a location selection decision. Let's have a look at the problem data and identify the requirements. In this problem, a supply chain manager is faced with choosing among four possible locations and has assessed each location according to specific criteria where the weights reflect the importance of the criteria. The criteria include raw materials, infrastructure, transportation costs, labor relations, and quality of life. The weights of each criteria range between 0 0.10 and 0.35. The scoring scale used ranges from P for poor, worth one point, up to very good, or VG, with a value of five points. The question is simple. How can the supply chain manager use this information to choose a location? And can he develop a quantitative approach to do it? You bet we can, and that quantitative approach that we can use is known as factor rating analysis. Factor rating analysis is a simple quantitative scoring approach that takes the criteria weight multiplied by a criteria score on any desired scale to produce a weighted average location score. So let's try to help the supply manager solve his problem. Here's the data again. Note the weights and the score point values. First, we look at potential location number one and determine the weighted score for the first criteria, raw material availability. We take the G score of four points and multiply by the criteria weight of 0.15 to get a weighted score of 0.60. For infrastructure, we take the score of OK, where three points, and multiply by the weight of 0.10 to get a weighted score of 0.30. For transportation costs, we take the VG score of five points times a weight of 0.35 to get a value of 1.75. Next is labor relations, where location one received a point score of four points for good. We multiply that by the weight of 0 0.20 to give a final value of 0 0.80. And finally, there's quality of life, which is also rated at good for four points and has the same weight of 0.2. So four times 0.2 is 0.80. Then you add up the scores. Now you may have already noticed that the sum of the weights equals 1 or 1.0 and that's always the case. Sometimes you may see the weights expressed as percentages so 15% for raw material availability, 35% for transportation costs, etc. and they will always add up to 100%. The final weighted score for location 1 is 4.25. We would then go ahead and repeat this for every location. You'll see for location two, the total ends up being 3.5. I included a couple of supporting calculations here for raw material availability and transportation costs to prove that a poor rating of 1.0 times uh, 0.15 equals 0.15, and that an okay score of three times 0.35 equals 1.05. Make sure you can confirm all of these numbers before proceeding. Next is location three, where the individual calculations add up to a total location score of 1.50. Again, make sure you can confirm these before proceeding. And finally, location four ends up with a total score of 3.30, which you now should be able to confirm. Now that we've calculated the individual scores, the final step is to simply compare them and determine which location is most desirable. Based on the scoring, location 1 with a weighted score of 4.25 beats out the other locations. Now you'll notice that location 1 doesn't score the highest on every criteria. For example, location 2 is rated higher for labor relations and quality of life, and location 4 for raw material availability. But in this case, transportation costs are the most important factor given the highest weight of 0.35. So the high transportation score really puts location 1 on top.